This is Natalia with People's Dispatch. I'm here where a thousand demonstrators have gathered for a vigil to honor the victims of the Israeli genocide on the Gaza Strip here um, at Columbus Circle in Manhattan in New York City. There have been 15,000 Gazans who have been killed by Israeli aggression, Israeli airstrikes on the Gaza Strip, not to mention those killed on the West Bank. Um, this is a vigil honoring those victims of genocide, doctors, journalists, women, children, Gazans, Palestinians of all stripes um, who have been murdered in this war. I'm here with the Palestinian Youth Movement and we are gathered here today to mourn the over 20,000 lives that were brutally taken in Gaza. This visual is honoring the, uh, the, the martyrs of Palestine and all those who have been, uh, have been killed. Um, but not just that, the, it's also honoring the, uh, the three students that were injured in Vermont um, who were just shot for being Palestinian and for being vocal about their identities. Uh, and really this is something that is just a continuation of the ongoing intimidation uh, and violence being shown to students uh, who speak up in defense of Palestine. I'm here tonight to show my unwavering support for the Palestinian people. Um, over the past seven weeks we've seen over 20,000 people, many of them children, um, be massacred by Israel. Um, which was done on our tax uh, dollars and um, as a resident in this country I know that that money could go towards much better things um, like public education and health care and not towards US imperialism. I'm here today to uh, mourn and to honor our martyrs in Gaza over the past month and a half. Um, we lost over uh, 20,000 martyrs in Gaza uh, to a brutal campaign of bombing at the hands of uh, the Israeli occupation. Um, and we're here to honor them, we're here to mourn together, uh, we're here to, through our mourning, uh, revive the momentum for the movement for Palestine and continue uh, to hold um, you know, the momentum by being together and being present with both the violence that our people are enduring in Gaza and honoring their resistance and honoring um, their lives and being present um, with their lives and remembering that uh, the story of Gaza and what we've seen unfold over the past month is the story of Palestine, is the story of the entirety of Palestine. It's a story of displacement, uh, occupation, um, and, uh, and, and, and resistance and martyrdom. And we're here to honor that together. Our movement is growing stronger by the day, and the people of the world are rising up, taking to the streets, blocking the roads, holding their schools and institutions accountable. All of them and all of you here today are proving that Palestinian liberation is not only realizable, it is within reach. So we won't stop, not until there's a permanent ceasefire, not until every single one of our prisoners have been released, until the siege and the blockade of Gaza have been ended, until we sever the ties between America and Israel, and not until Palestine is free from the river to the sea. These demonstrators, as well as demonstrators across the globe, are gathering for the International Day of Solidarity with the Palestinian people to demand a permanent ceasefire in the Israeli war on Gaza and a full liberation of Palestine from the Israeli occupation.